Hey guys, it's Jake here with eTrailer. Today we're gonna go over some of the common questions we get about your trailer tires. Now you've probably been dealing with your vehicle tires ever since you've been driving and you know a little bit or a lot about those tires. But we're here to answer some of the questions that we get um, about your trailer tires. Some of the common questions we get are, how long do they last? Are they interchangeable with truck or car tires? and what kind and what the weight rating means on the tire. The overall answer is no. It's gonna be personal preference. Um, the main reason why vehicle wheels and tires are balanced is because it's for comfort. It's for the comfort of the people inside the vehicle. A trailer doesn't haul any people, so um, those finite vibrations and bouncing is not going to be affected um, to the people inside the vehicle. Now, with that being said, if you're hauling something very valuable, if you have a, a, a big investment in something, such as like a motorcycle, and you'd rather take some of those vibrations out, then you can go ahead and get your trailer tires balanced. Load range is going to be represented by a letter on your tire and it's going to represent the weight capacity or the, the class that your tire is in. So, um, you know, we have D, E, F, and they're all representing different classes, and the weight ratings will all go up as the letters go up. Um, for example, I had a load range D on my camper. My camper weighs 12,000 pounds, but the tires were only rated for 2,000 pounds per tire. So it doesn't quite add up, and that's why I ended up blowing a tire, is because my camper was just too heavy. I found a new tire that was a load range D, but was rated at 3,000 pounds per tire, which gets me up to that 12,000 pounds. So you can't rely on the load range letter determining the weight rating. You need to check that out too and make sure it matches the weight capacity of the trailer that you're putting them on. Technically, yes, they will fit, but you shouldn't use them. And the reason why you shouldn't is because a trailer tire is engineered different from a vehicle tire. A vehicle tire is going to be rated to haul passengers and to haul a load from the vehicle. And it's going to be a more comfortable tire because it's just designed different. A trailer tire is going to have a, the load bearing sidewalls and it's going to be rated to have the cornering from a trailer and not cornering from a vehicle. Another question we get is, can you use vehicle tires on a trailer? Um, the answer to that is yes, you can. You just wanna make sure it is a um, LT tire so that, because an LT tire is a light truck tire and it's going to have a little bit stiffer sidewall to be able to support the load. You cannot use a P rated tire because it is going to be rated for passengers and that is going to have a softer sidewall designed for comfort for the inside of your vehicle. Well the overall answer is going to be about three to six years but that's going to depend on how you're using them, what kind of weight you're, you have on them, what kind of shape your trailer is in, uh, but usually assuming that everything is right with your axles and your trailer um, it's going to be about three to six years. Some of the reasons why you will have to replace your tires prematurely um, is going to be because of flat spots and dry rot. The best way to prevent dry rot is to cover your tires up. If you have your spare tire on the back of your camper or if you are keeping your camper somewhere for a long period of time or just a trailer, um, it's always a good idea to buy some tire covers to cover your tires while you're not using your trailer. This is just going to protect it from the sun and the elements so that your tires will not dry rot. Um, another tip is that if you're not going to be using your trailer for a long period of time and you know that, it's a good idea to just go ahead and take your spare off and put it in a climate controlled place. Well, there's a couple different reasons. You could have your tire overinflated. It could be underinflated. You could have just a strictly a low tread amount, um, which means your tires need to be changed. Um, you could be overloading your tires. 
Um, and then also, again, back to dry rot and the actual maintenance of your tires could cause them to blow too. Usually nine times out of 10, it's going to be a combination of your pressure in your tire is too low and your tires are overloaded for what they're rated for. Um, I can say personally, that's what happened to me here. I had a blowout. The weight rating for my tire was not designed to carry my camper. So um, I had the proper air pressure in here because I check them before I go, um, but the tires just couldn't handle it. And when I went over a bump, over a bridge, um, the tire blew and then ripped up my, the side of my camper here. Well, they're not all bias ply. They're there are gonna be some that are gonna be radials, and the main difference between the two is gonna be their construction. Radial tires are going to run cooler, so they're going to be great for highway use. Um, they're gonna have better ground contact. Um, they're also gonna make great tires for campers and trailers. Um, and with that, they're usually gonna last longer than bias ply tires. Bias ply tires are going to be great for agriculture, agricultural or off-road use because they're gonna have a stiffer sidewall. Well guys, hopefully we were able to answer some of your questions that you might have had about trailer tires. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments below and we'll see you next time.